Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College and this is my password for today. It's April the 22nd and we're reading in John chapter 9 and Jesus says in verse 5, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Now that's quite an outstanding statement to make. That would be something that only an absolute egomaniac would say. Or a complete idiot. Someone who's on a, on a complete trip of um, self-importance would say that. I am the light of the world. And that's of course the Lord Jesus was who he claimed to be. The light of the world. I am the light of the world. And, and the Lord Jesus performs another sign. A messianic sign. There were five signs that were messianic signs and each one of them was a special sign from God which a man would not even be able to do even if he were empowered of the Holy Spirit to do it. Even if a man was filled with the Holy Spirit, if he was empowered by the Holy Spirit, he would not be able to do these signs. And this particular sign, when you start to think about it, is totally outstanding. He's able to make a man see again, who has never seen ever before. It's one thing for a person's sight to be restored. That's one thing. But for someone that's never seen, never ever seen, blind from birth, well, that's quite outstanding. And this sign, the, the ability to heal those that were blind from birth, all of the Jewish leaders agreed, was absolutely impossible. So far impossible that only the Messiah himself would be able to perform a miracle like this. And that's what the Lord Jesus chooses to do. He finds a man blind from birth. And he gives him his sight. And he does it in a way that is so totally outstanding that we would even not imagine it. He takes some soil from the ground, some clay from the earth. And he spits in the clay. And in his hands he stirs that clay into a paste. And then he takes the clay and he anoints the man's eyes with the clay. This is in our thinking more likely to produce an infection and more likely to produce a scarring upon the eyes, more likely to blind somebody. The Lord Jesus uses that method to give him his sight. Wow. The Lord Jesus is wonderful beyond description. In our last passage we saw that he, he says everything well. But now we see that he does everything well as well. And so the Lord Jesus says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. There's none other than him. Only he is able to give sight to those that are born blind. God bless you. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.